Welcome to the Covent Garden Market. Opened in 1845, beginning as just a small place for locals to sell goods, the Covent Garden Market has been attracting tourists and locals alike for generations. The Covent Garden Market is a distinctive grouping of shops, restaurants, and even an outdoor farmer's market, all located inside a gorgeous building at 130 King Street. Covent Garden Market, fun fact number one. This area right here in the wintertime is transformed into a skating rink. Inside this 30,000 square foot building, there are almost 50 shops and vendors, all of which are family owned, non-franchise businesses. So you can feel good about supporting local entrepreneurs. Covent Garden Market, fun fact number two, they have talented buskers. Everything in here is delightful to the eyes and the senses, from the gorgeous colors of fresh cut flowers as you walk in, to the smell of home roasted coffee at a local shop called Hasbeans. Mm. Now that I've got my nice warm cup of coffee, I'm kinda craving something sweet. Oh, chocolate. I am uh, the owner and operator of Ferrat's Chocolates at the market. The, uh, we bring in the chocolate in from Europe, we melt it down in our uh, tempering machines, and then it's uh, a start of a process. It goes from anywhere to like dipped caramels, uh, almond clusters. Our signature item is our truffles. Everything we make is here on site, right on these counters. If I wanted to be a chocolatier, how would I go about getting a job with that? Um, actually, if you want to, you could start with me today. I have a wedding order that I gotta do and we need to dip some pretzels. Really? All right, <laughs> let's dip some pretzels. All right, so I've washed my hands, I got my suit on, and I've rolled up go. my sleeves. Very nice, so we have 160 pretzels to dip. And they're coming to pick it up in a half hour. In a half hour? That's how fresh we are here at Ferrat's Chocolates. What are we gonna do? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw the pretzels down first. And we're gonna get them into chocolate, okay? Then you're gonna push the pretzel down. Okay. And then with the bottom of your fork, you're gonna float the chocolate over top of it. All right. Come up underneath and you're gonna dip it and use, do you see how the chocolate's kind of sticking to the bottom of it? Yeah. What it's creating is a suction, and it's creating a suction to pull the chocolate actually off of it, because you don't want to have a bunch of chocolate running off All the right. actual product. So you bring it up, once you got no dips, you bring it over here nicely, lay it down, and then you clean the back of your fork just on the edge of the tempering machine like so, and you're good to go. I'm go. a little bit nervous, but go ahead, try. I think I can do it. <laughs> So just push, yeah, push it down. If you think being a chocolatier is just about melting chocolate, you're wrong. Roger says the science of tempering is incredibly important to a final product. When you have your chocolate dried like a chocolate bar, you'll hear like a snap when you bite into it or you break it in half. If it's not done properly, the chocolate will bend and over time it will bloom. What happens is all the white cocoa butter rises to the surface and it looks like it's just a dirty piece of chocolate. So I may not be a chocolate scientist, but I knew one thing for sure. I was never going to finish those pretzels in time. Oh guys, I screwed up. I worked so hard. I got, I got chocolate everywhere. I'm just gonna be so mad. Sarah, what are you doing? These pretzels aren't dipped yet? I, oh. I screwed up. I guess I'm not getting paid for today. Yeah, forget that. Oh, at least I got a free snack. From the Covent Garden Market, I'm Sarah Wright for Fanshawe TV.